Hey folks, so I purchased the Top Test Sound Meter here, and it wasn't the most expensive product, but it's actually got a number of features that are really useful. So I want to go over those with you today. Taking it out of the box, first thing you want to do before you use this is remove the top cover here. This is what protects the microphone. It can be a little bit stiff, but there we go. And we do have the windshield set up good to go there. And the way you want to use this when you are testing out the decibel level of something is to point it at the object with the mic, you know, facing it, and that will give you the most accurate result. So how do we use this? Well, first of all, we just need to turn on the power button, make sure you've popped the batteries in the back. They are included. And just hold that down for a second. And there you go, the screen will turn on. There's a bunch of telemetry on here, which I'm going to go through with you. What you can do, however, is put on the back LED. And to do that, we've got the hold button with the brightness button also attached to it. We just hold that down for about two seconds and it's just gonna make filming this video a lot easier, but it's also a nice feature for you guys. So you can see straight down here, we've got the decibel level of the audio that is being detected. And this will detect audio between 30 and 130 decibels. And then up here, we have two more readings. This 18.4 degrees, that's the current temperature of the room that I am in. And you can adjust that from Celsius to Fahrenheit simply with the click of a button, 65.2 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is accurate to one degree Celsius or two degrees Fahrenheit. And then over on this side, 69.6%, that is actually the humidity level. So as I say, this is multifunctional, this tool. It's not just for measuring the sound. Now you can see that the decibel levels are jumping up and down really quickly. If you struggle with that, then you can just tap the fast and slow button and that will change how often that reading updates. It just makes it more uh, legible so that you can understand it or we can put it back into fast mode. And max min will show us the max decibels that have been detected. Okay, live, and if we go to min, it will show us the minimum amount of decibels being detected. So if I stop talking again, you can see that has reduced. So we can go max, min, or we can hold that down in order to put it back into the standard fluctuation mode. And apart from adjusting the brightness, if you just tap the H button here for hold, it will hold it at the current decibel level detected. So you can jot down your reading and then click it again in order to return to normality. When you are low on battery, I am not, you will get a low battery reading on this display as well. So overall, the sound level meter here from Top Test, I'm really impressed with it. Again, it wasn't expensive and it doesn't feel expensive if I'm honest with you, okay? It is just made of plastic, but it does do a great job. But overall, I'm just really satisfied with this tool. It does exactly what I need it to. And yeah, I hope this video has helped.